Hello friends, welcome to Raja Data Engineering. In this video, I am going to explain one of the scenario based interview question that is how to get only the maximum value of each column among duplicate records. In order to make it more understandable, let me give a scenario. Let's say we are getting input file which is containing product related data containing the columns, product ID, name, price and discount price. Within that, we are having duplicate record for multiple product IDs. In this case, we are having duplicate records for product ID 100 and 200. Coming to product ID 100, there are duplicate records uh, 2 and uh, for uh, product ID 200, we are having 3 duplicate records. Now the requirement is, now for each records, we have to consider the maximum value of each column. For example, if I uh, look at price column, for product ID 100, there are two records, there are two values, 5000 and 700 and 7, uh, 5000 and 7000. 7000 is the maximum value. So for the final output, I have to consider only 7000, not 5000. Coming to the source data for discount price for product ID 100, the first record contains 10, second record contains 7. So here 10 is the maximum which is coming from first record. So I have to consider the first record value for discount price column. So for price, we are considering the second record, but for discount uh, percent, we are considering the first record. So in this way, you know, I have to get the final record, the product ID, only one unique record, which is having product ID 100, name mobile, and the price is 7000, which is coming from the second record, and discount percent that is coming from the first record. Same is applicable for second product ID 200 as well. So there are three records. Out of those three records, for price, the second record is containing the maximum value which is 25 so i have to get that 25000 as my output and coming to discount percent there are uh, three uh, different values and 12 is the maximum that is coming from the third record of uh, product id 200 and i have to consider that 12 as my output so basically this is my input data in this duplicate uh, 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 data i have to find the maximum value of each column for a particular product id and I have to give in my output data by removing duplicates. That is my requirement. So how can we, uh, what kind of solution we can give here to achieve this requirement? The solution is very simple. We can go for window function, max over. Using this max over, we can achieve this particular uh, result. But um, along with max over, we have to follow certain steps. I can uh, give a demo to explain those steps. Let's get started with the demo. I have logged into my Databricks environment and my cluster is up and running. So the first step is I have to create sample data for this demo. So using the list simple data, I'm creating the data and I'm also defining the schema. By combining the data and schema, I'm creating the data. Let me execute this step, then it will give the sample data. Execution is completed. We got the output data. This is exactly same as what I have shown in the PowerPoint. It is containing product ID, product name, price, and discount percent. Uh, there are two different uh, products, 100 and 200. Both are having duplicate records. Now I have to eliminate the duplicate records by considering only the maximum value of each column. Coming to price, it should be 7000. Coming to discount uh, percent, it should be 10 for product ID 10. Sorry, product ID 100. Now, in order to achieve this result, first step is I have to apply the max over function for all the columns for which you know we have to take the maximum value. In this example, I have to consider the maximum value for price and discount price. So what I have to do is you now using with column, I have to create a new column. Here what I am doing is based on the price column, I am finding the maximum price. For that I am applying the window function max over. So for that I have already defined the window specification. So the window function is coming from PySpark library. I have imported that library, then I am partitioning based on the product ID because here I have to create the partition based on the product ID because based on the product ID only, I have to remove the duplicates. So I am uh, partitioning based on the product ID, that is the window specification I have defined. Then I am uh, in the data frame, in my source data, I am adding extra column, one column that is called max price, another column called max discount price. So I am adding two extra columns and the logic is max over window function max over of this price so what it will do is you know, it will fetch the maximum value among the partitioned values 
So coming to this uh, 100 partitioned uh, values, you know, 7000 is the maximum. So it is, kind, it is going to consider 7000 and coming to discount percent, it will consider 10. And coming to 2200 uh, partition, 25000 is the maximum for price, it will uh, be considered and coming to discount percent, 12 is the maximum for uh, product ID 200, so 12 percent will be considered. So this is my uh, logic, you know, here I am defining uh, window function and I am creating new two, uh, two uh, new columns. Let me execute this step. Yeah, I have executed. Now we can see the output. You know, along with this, uh, you know, input uh, columns, we got two extra columns, maximum price and maximum discount percent. And this is fetching the maximum value. But still, we haven't removed the duplicate. So in order to remove the duplicate, now we have to follow few steps. So in the next step, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take only the maximum price and maximum discount uh, percent column by ignoring the original price and discount. And also, I will rename this uh, maximum price to price and the maximum discount percent to uh, discount percent. It means we are going to get the maximum value for these columns. So that is uh, done in the next step. So here, in the next step, what I'm doing is, simply I'm selecting the columns, all the columns, whatever I need. For example, product ID and product name. Then coming to this uh, maximum price, I am uh, selecting the maximum price at the same time I am renaming, I am creating alias that is price. Same for maximum discount percent. I am selecting that column but changing the column name to discount percent. At the same time I am ignoring the uh, original columns price and discount. So in this way I am removing but still uh, we are not removing the duplicate in this case. Let me execute this step and we can see the output. So execution is done. Here you can see we have removed the original columns and uh, instead of that we are considering the maximum price and the maximum discount uh, percent column but still duplicate is not removed. So in the next step what I am going to do is I am going to remove the duplicate for that I will use drop duplicate function. So let me execute this step. Now here we can see we got only unique product IDs which is uh, containing the same result set that we discussed in the PowerPoint. So here I am having product ID which is uh, containing the price value from one of the record and uh, the discount percent from another record. Same is applicable for uh, product ID 200. So in this way, I have removed the duplicate by considering the maximum value of each column of each product. So this is the complete solution. So uh, in order to handle this particular uh, situation, we have to follow these steps. Actually, this, these steps can be uh, even uh, simplified but uh, just to make it more understandable for you, I have elaborated uh, this into more steps. But otherwise, still, you know, there is a, a room to reduce the number of steps for this requirement. But uh, the core concept is we have to use max over window function. That is a concept here. The complete code is summarized in this uh, last cell. I hope you understood the concept and you understood this uh, real-time scenario-based question. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like the content of this video, please uh, subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell button. Thank you.